to do right now is uh, start preparing my canvas. And uh, let's see, put a little bit of, I use water and I also use airbrush medium. And I know a lot of people don't have that, but it keeps it from um, being too overloaded with water. So I'm just going to throw some green on here while we wait. Okay. I just dipped my uh, brush into some phthalo green and I'm adding some um, yellow ochre to lighten it up as I go down. In case you're wondering. And as I told you, I'll be adding a little bit of white later to give it a little bit of a sky appearance. And I have enough time to, uh, I have enough time. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm glancing at the chat and I'm thinking you're talking about the painting that's coming up that we're getting ready to do right now. Not sure because I can't scroll back and paint at the same time. Anywho, um, yeah, I did this once already today. <laughs> uh, but I need to do it again because I went a little bit farther than where we start. So therefore, I need to... Um, come back and, and, and get this again. So I have my dirty brush. I'm dipping into all these color combinations and I have my dirty brush and I'm dipping into the white so that it's not pure white. And I might even dip that into my combination of phthalo green, which is what I'm doing. And, um, and yellow ochre along with the white so that it's not too, too. Okay. And I'm putting a little bit more green in here and breaking it up a little bit. A little bit more of that combo. And then I'm going back to uh, wipe, wipe off my brush and I'm going back to the phthalo green and a little yellow and a little yellow ochre. Just some, some color variants in here. So everything's not the same and it's not boring. Anybody else joining us? Oh, what's an Aboriginal word? Jerub, Jerub? See if I'm smart enough to catch on to a conversation I missed most of. <laughs> uh, who got started on this? Who's painting with me tonight? That's a nice to know. Who's painting with us? Curious. I'm so glad you guys made it though. I'm glad you're here. If anybody else is on, let me know because I don't want to miss anyone. But I'm really glad you're here. It makes me feel good that you're actually going to paint with us or else um, join us in the chat because that's kind of, I always say these paint parties are like the glue. This is when we get to know each other. This is when we get to be the most encouraging despite what all we have going on in our lives. At this point, I'm starting to blend it all together. So the, the bottom part is a, is a bit of everything and a lighter mix. Okay. I want the lighter mix in the background so that uh, I could, and I have a slant purposely. I have a slant on these colors 
because I just like doing it. It gives it, it makes it a little bit more interesting. And uh, gives it a little bit more movement. Let's see. Joanne started. <laughs> um, Liz is in bed. It's hot here. It's almost 90 all of a sudden. Like, why do people get sick? Because this weather is so crazy. It went from jacket weather to swimwear weather, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to flip it like I always do to make it a little easier. Now, when we paint together, um, we like to take breaks. If you need to take a break, take a break. But I like to provide a moment where we can take a break and we're not painting straight through because it helps us um, not get all stiff and everything. Okay, so that's one of the things I like to do. Also, I like to uh, encourage good posture. If you can't hang tough with us, Liz, you know what to do. I'm not going to be, my feelings won't be hurt. Because being tired is going to increase your chances of having a flare. And uh, I don't want to be a big hypocrite because I do cheat myself on sleep a lot. But those are the results. Okay. So. Thanks. Yeah. I, you know what? It's a. Uh, it is um, kind of coming out by chance because the way I'm doing this, it, there's some variance in the colors. There's definitely variance in the colors. So that's kind of what I meant when I say just throw some greens and yellows on there. Don't worry about it. And you know what, God, you know what? Tell, I mean, tell me what you think. It usually works out, doesn't it? It usually works out. Hi, Carol. My stuff starts out looking kind of like, uh, what are you doing? Take that swan painting, for example. And then, voila. I hope everybody's making it. All I'm doing is throwing some green on here. I did this once earlier, and I posted it to our group, Painting with Fibromyalgia. Um, that's all that's on here, I believe, except for a few people who are um, not in the group who are uh, subscribed to me. But I didn't make it public because I want this to be part of my Love Summer art. And I asked permission um, if I could do it this way. Thanks for helping me out. If you have a question, I want to let you know to get my attention or to get um, the mod's attention or anyone else who's here, uh, put it in all caps if you can. If you can. Okay. If you can't because you're in bed and you're typing with one hand. I did see that. <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> and it's okay. Don't worry about it. Still ask your question. Like I said, I appreciate you all being here. Not everybody is up to painting. And if you're not, it's okay. You could pick it up later and I'd like to divide this into two parts at least. What do you think? Are you guys up to, are you up to dividing it into two parts? I can't hit caps. 
<laughs> That's cracking me up. Okay. Um. Anyway, so now I have a chance to chat just a little bit because I can dry. If you need a break and you need to jump up and go to the bathroom and get yourself something to drink and all the craziness that I had to do before getting on here, <laughs> now is a good time. I need some leaves on and what we need, oh my back is breaking, what we need is our angle brush to do this easier if you have an angle brush. Where are all my brushes? Okay, there, right in front of me. So if you have an angle brush or two, now's the time to get them out. Or you could just use a regular brush, you know? But these are easier to make these leaves. Now in this corner, we're gonna have really dark leaves and I kind of goofed that up with a uh, really dark paint, but that's okay. We're gonna have really dark leaves in this corner. Now, in order to get that effect of the leaf being uh, the, the branch side at the top and the bottom of the leaf at the bottom, the skinny part at the bottom, uh, what we'll do is hold the angle brush this direction with the longer part at the top and then we'll make this and where you and i'm going to show you over here so you can see see we curve it we curve the brush in our favor okay so that's how you do that you well i kind of made a little goof but it doesn't matter so what you do is you kind of go like that so you go in a curve in a circle at the top and then you just end it okay so you make your leaves like that and you have a few coming right at the top here wherever the the wherever you end it that's the direction it's going to be going okay so those are those few at the top and i'm going to be making some random ones elsewhere so here i'm going to show you how that works you just kind of curve it around like that curve it around the other way and there's your leaf okay so you you do it like that and if you see that if you try it if it doesn't look right it doesn't matter you can just layer on top of it you know you could always play stuff off that's what i love about painting you could always play it off. So I don't know if you can see my stroke, but so my short end of the brush is on the bottom on my hand side and the long part of my angle brush is at the top. And so I curve it around, curve it around. I got too much water in here. And there you go, okay? All right, so let me know what you think of that. We're going to be adding to this. Now what we're going to also do is lighten some of these up. As we go down, we're going to lighten them up. So you can dip into your yellow, get a little bit of a lighter color on here, pinch it off on your palette, and I'll show you. My water is so green, but doesn't matter because everything's green. So I dipped it into my yellow. I pinched it off. See, I have a lighter color. That's what you want. So you could put your lighter color here, but you can go into a different direction. So this time I'm going to turn my, go too much on there. I'm going to turn my brush where the long side is going down because I want the skinny part of the leaf to go that way so there you go see how that worked and i'm gonna whichever way i want the skinny part of the leaf to go that's where i'm going to end it so i have the long part at the top again okay and i threw some in the middle okay 
I'm going to do another one with the long part at the bottom of my angle brush. Okay, it almost looks like poison ivy, so I don't want it to look too much like that. I'm going to do it again this way with my um, long part at the top. It almost looks backwards, like you're going to be doing it backwards, doing it the wrong way. You got it? All right. So that's how we're doing this. We're going to throw some leaves in of different colors. I'm not going to add the whitish leaves. I have some more whitish looking leaves down here. I'm not going to add that until I get rid of some of this paint that's on my brush. So again, we're going to be doing like this. Whoops, I went the wrong way. We're going to be doing like this. <laughs> oh, fix it, fix it. Okay. Back into that lighter yellow and, and phthalo green color, or whatever colors you mix to get green. Another light one is going to be going here. And it's a, it's a variant, it's a very color. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, because not all of these are going to be showing necessarily. We're going to be overlapping. I'm touching my phthalo green because I just want it a little darker and I'm going right here and I'm going right here okay going right here and I'm going to be making some of these things without adding any more paint because I want it to look very muted, not noticeable. So I'm not going to be adding more paint. I purposely am doing it that way. So don't add any paint after you get enough leaves on there, okay? Because this is what you want. You want, you want some kind of a not so obvious looking, more muted, more scruffy looking leaves, all right? Now, I'm going to dip a little bit into the white and back into that lighter green, a little into the white, back into the lighter green, right here. You see it right here? So I dipped into the white, just not into it, but the edge of it, back into this lighter green. And I want a very light leaf. I want a very light leaf right here. Another one. And we're going to go up that way. Another one. Okay. Another one. Okay, right there. Maybe I'll throw another one over here. All right, now I'm going to pinch this brush. And on my, I don't want it that light. I might darken it up a little. That same brush, I'm not going to, I'm not going to clean it off. That same brush, I dipped it. I am going into my darker color because I want the white to still be in the brush, but just not so crazy white. And I'm going to make a little line down these. Okay, just going to make a little line. So you can see a division on these darker ones. Down the center. You might have to pinch it off as it starts getting fatter. Pinch it off and just make a little line. Here's some more. You want that to make it look like a leaf, okay? Now, on the light leaf, it almost looks dark, which is fine. That's what you want. I don't want it to look so, so I wiped my brush off on my 
yellow ochre and green. I still didn't dip it in water and I'm just making a little bit of a impression right here. Just going a little side to side so that it's not so obvious. Okay, just barely, barely touching, just to kind of not make it so, so like it has surgery. Okay, just touching it a little. All right. And that's, it's hard to explain when you do something very subtly. Because I was in that dark color, I was able to use that on those leaves. All right, now, I need a little bit of brown. You could have a, um, you could make a brown. I have a brown here somewhere. Here it is. You could use burnt umber, but I want it to be very, very subtle. So the skinniest brush you have or the lightest stroke you have, um, make sure you get a nice skinny line on your brush with your brown. Get a nice skinny line, very skinny. You can leave the green on there. That's all right. I haven't used any water yet. Well, except to throw my brush and change brushes, but I've hardly used my water. Surgical leaves. <laughs> all right. What are you saying about me? <laughs> because <laughs> I did get busy. Okay, so you could throw some branches on there, random branches, very lightly, just very lightly with the skinniest, skinniest touch. Just remember not to put it on the end of the leaf. <laughs> I need to pinch it off some more. And I'm not making, I'm not changing anything. Like there's no mistakes in this, okay? There's none. This is not where you want to, fix things and change things. You just randomly put some branches on there. This is painting with fibromyalgia. This is easy, no sweat, no pressure, okay? So don't try to fix stuff. Fixing stuff is defeats the purpose, okay? We could play things off and pretend we meant it. We could do that. <laughs> Okay, so you see how I'm throwing some, some branches in here? Now, these branches look a little bit, you know, ugh. So I'm throwing some extra ones in here because I don't want just like three brown things in a row, okay? So see how that works. So I'm just some extra random little, okay? All right. I don't know if you could see that. Let me know if you can. you. I, I don't know if it was understandable. If you need me to demonstrate on my palette paper, I can. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, but this is, I just dipped in water so that you can see it a little better. This is the angle brush. So the long part is on the top where my finger is. The underneath part is the short part. And I make my leaves by going this direction and then going that direction. And if you need to, you could fill in the middle or you could do it in a way where the middle is already kind of filled in in the process. Now, you can go different directions, okay? But you want your, you want to end on the skinny part, okay? So you just keep your brush now to go up, see, I still have to go like this and I have to end on the skinny part, okay? To go down, go like that, end on the skinny part. Now that's a little messy because I'm holding everything up in the air, but you kind of get the point, right? Just give you an update. What we did was just randomly paint uh the background the ground color with different shades of green and in mine i have a combination of yellow ochre mixed with phthalo green um hands yellow mixed with uh phthalo green 
and then certain sections near the middle uh, I put a little bit of titanium white mixed with those colors and that is how I got my varied colors in the background I'm how okay you're a little earlier than me all right so I have a question do you guys want to go on or do you want to save the um, the next part with the flowers? Do you want to save that for part two? Now, I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to save the second part for part two. Because by the time we get into it, it can go on to two hours. And I, know, I don't want to do that again. I've made that mistake a couple of times. And I think Kate, I threw Kate into a, uh, into a, uh, a flare. I feel so bad about that. But I want to go back to taking breaks and stretching and, um, splitting up the paintings. So, <laughs> all right, let's do that. Let's uh, take some breaks and split up the paintings and not uh, throw ourselves into a flare. Okay, I'm for that too. I know it wasn't directly my fault, but you didn't get to see how I normally like to do it. You caught me at cheating and uh, taking forever and not breaking. And that wasn't nice. Yeah. So let's just rest here and um, take a look at that flower so you could plan for the colors. What I think I'd like to use for that flower color is a couple of different reds, a couple of different pinks, I mean. Uh, if you have used light cadmium red, yes, it's a no flare zone. No, did you notice we don't have any, uh, I shouldn't say it out loud, <laughs> but we don't have any uh, uh, drama. Have you noticed that? I love that. I love that we don't have any drama. Oh, if somebody wants to give a shout out to the Facebook group to use the link to come here, if you don't mind doing that, because I was expecting a few more. And um, I could talk about what I want you all to know with more people here. So if you don't mind somebody going to Facebook and doing a shout out and tell them to link up with us using the, uh, um, using the link. I just saw myself put my hand up on my face and I was like, that threw me off. <laughs> I'm not picking my nose. All right. Now, cause there's, it says eight watching and it always counts me. So there's seven watching and I was expecting a lot more, which I'm fine because people have things to do and they don't feel good. However, um, sometimes I don't say things till toward the end. I gotta find out what bad thing Bonnie said. Oh, okay. She didn't say anything bad. Um, and what I'd like to talk about is how to set this up. So maybe some people want to see that, um, how to set, what colors to use to gather up or to get for the flower part. Yeah, I'm missing some people. I have some people in my mind that I really was expecting to come. So they might not know to go to the link. Okay. And also, while I'm here, I want to tell you that a lot of times that happens. I don't get to make my little announcements at the beginning of our fibro chats. I kind of wait till everybody comes on. So my announcements tend to be toward the middle and end. So in order to know about a lot of things, you need to listen at the middle and all the way to the end. Um, maybe grab the first part <laughs> later. And the reason I'm saying that is because um, I, it was in one of the chats that I talked about uh, the Love Summer Art. 
So, um, you know. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I talked about Love Summer Art in one of the chats, and that's why I had to go private. So, I mean, I keep saying private. That's what messed me up. I had to go unlisted. Sherry, I was looking for you. <laughs> Were you planning on painting? Um, okay, so I didn't want to say this until Sherry came on. <laughs> Uh, how you doing, Sherry? All right. So here's what I want to tell you. When we do the flower part, because we're going to break this up. Good to see you, Sherry. We're going to break this up. So to get ready for the flower portion, I'm thinking we're going to use... Oh, about how many leaves? I don't know. Say there's like a handful. There's a clump in the corner, a clump here, kind of a clump here. I didn't put any here. I want to put some here. Um, I don't know how many leaves. Just don't leave this wide open. You can have some open space, but I don't want it too wide open. But we're going to be filling. We're going to overlap some of these, most of them, with the flower. This is going to be overlapped. Sherry, while you're here, while you're here, Sherry, or you're just watching, I want to show you how, and you might know how to do this. Um, I don't know if this is the self-explanatory part, but I'm going to show you how to make this leaf. Use your angle brush so that the long part's at the top and the bottom part is the short part. And you just, Follow with the long part at the top. You start at the beginning of the leaf and the end of the leaf follow up on going up on the end, which is your top part, okay? So you would go like this, go like that. And see, this is what I mean by it doesn't matter how many leaves you have because you can always overlap. It makes it look a little more realistic anyway. You could do it at the top and then follow in at the at the bottom with a little upswing, okay? Now, you can go into your darker green and then make yourself a little line. Whoops, didn't get anything on my brush. Make yourself a little line in the middle, okay? And then that's how you do it. You can even make a little, a little stripe there. Let's make it look a little more realistic. Okay. A little fat stripe. All right. So that's how you do your leaves. Thank you. Now, um, for the and the rest of it's just variations of green sherry um i think i talked about that in the video in the group do it on your palette angie okay i'll do it on my palette let me find a place because I, I toward the end my palette gets pretty pretty messed up okay so i'll use the real dark so you can see it load my brush okay so you start with your, oh, I really loaded it. You start with the long part at the top of your angle brush and the short part at the bottom where it's toward, toward your wrist. And this is actually how you do it. You would make it oh, rounded at the top. Wow. It's hard when I'm holding my paper, <laughs> but you make it rounded at the top and you could fill in in the middle or you can push down hard enough at the top where you don't have to fill in the middle, okay? But you have, if you have any problems, you can always fill in the middle, okay? Like that. Now, if you push down hard enough at the top, you really don't have to do that. And just kind of go like that. I don't know if I, can you see that? Is that good? Okay, 
And if you want, you can just make it pointed more. You can make it fatter. And then you could, whichever way you do it, you want to hold the brush the same way because, well, that was bad. But you know what I'm trying to say. You want to hold the same way even if you go toward the other direction. But I don't have any space on here to show you what I mean. But you kind of get the point. And you could play with it. See here, here's one upside down right there. So you kind of get the point. You're welcome. Um, now, for the flower, I'm thinking we could use, I like this angle. Well, I don't like that angle of my chin line. But anyway, I like not seeing my face. That's kind of cool. Anyway, for the flower, I'd like to use light cadmium red because that's kind of a lighter, it could be more of a pinkish, uh, peachier pink. So I'd like to use that and I'd like to use quinacridone magenta. Um, and I want you to have your purple and I want you to have your phthalo blue. And with all of those colors combined, we should be able to do, uh, have enough colors where we could make that uh, fuchsia flower. Oh, that way you can have some of your colors if you need to pick up any, but I really wanna use that light cadmium red, uh, at least to mix in that uh, flower, because I think that's gonna really pop on here, okay? It's, it's a little peachier. All right, so uh, tell everybody that we're going to break this up so it's not too late to go ahead, paint the back of their canvas and um, put some, throw some leaves on there <laughs> indiscriminately. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. All right, I'll see you in the group. It's been fun. Okay, bye-bye. Kisses, one, 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 one. <laughs> oh no, I know about those birds down there, those crazy birds. <laughs> All right, take care. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Oh, Tina, I forgot you, Tina. Bye, Tina. Tina, you must have been painting. <laughs> okay, bye bye. have to uh